Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man, let me uh, talk some more basketball, man, some more NBA, man. You know, as far as the league go, man, the league should be very satisfied and happy with what they saw, you know, with the Golden State Warriors and the Oklahoma City Thunder. No matter how the outcome is, you know, the Warriors and the Oklahoma City Thunder, man, shout out to both teams, man. They gave the fans their money's worth, man, you know. And I'm like, Ticket, man, this is what basketball is all about, man. You want to see some competitive games, man. You want to see a team fight for it, man. Even if it's your home team, man, you really don't want to see your team, like, sweep, you know, the next team. Well, unless you root for the home team. I really didn't want the Warriors to sweep Oklahoma. You know, I picked the Warriors to six. Um, hey, it's going seven, you know. Everybody's wrong. Nothing to be shamed of. And then based off the way that the Warriors played, like, you know, three out of the um, first four games, shit, you would think the Warriors was going to lose this series. But, you know, the Warriors got the, the thunder right where they want it, man. So, I mean, they get to come back to Oakland and it's for all the chips. But as far as the league itself go, you know, as far as the Eastern Conference go, man, you know, I, I've been saying this for a while, man. The East is just just very weak, man. And, you know, Cleveland pretty much damn near just eased their way to the M NBA finals it was a foregoing conclusion at the beginning of the season that cleveland was going to come out the east we already knew there was no team that could beat cleveland but we knew there was the possibility that oklahoma or the spurs could challenge the golden state warriors so at least we get another competitive series versus um you know the raptors and um cleveland look i don't want to get into the whole conspiracy theory thing but Let's just face the fact, man. Cleveland could have swept the Raptors if they wanted to. They just let the series go on for a couple of games just to make the fans think it was semi-competitive when it really wasn't. They could have swept. They could have swept the Raptors if they wanted to. Cleveland was the far superior team, and they showed it pretty much. So, you know, one of the things that I don't like about the NBA, I've said this before, and I'll say it again, they really need to look into changing the playoff system. They need to find a way to evaluate this playoff system, do some research, and make sure that they get the best 16 teams in the playoffs, not teams going to the playoff by, you know, geographical location, you know, based off where they are on the map. You know, they get to go to the – playoffs they need to have the best 16 teams in there they need to strictly go by record wise i'll say that again because we need to have the best teams playing in the nba finals you know cleveland you know beating the teams that they beat detroit beating atlanta doesn't really prove anything now do i think cleveland could win it all yeah absolutely but you know if they fuck around and lose in like five or, you know what I'm saying, five or six games, then once again, you you can contribute to, well, they really didn't have to work for it. So that's one of the biggest concerns that I have about the NBA. They really need to get rid of this East Coast, West Coast thing. They need to find a way to where they can get the best 16 teams in there, not, you know, the East Coast, West Coast shit. Like I say, man, this ain't the fucking Source magazine and this ain't no damn hip hop and shit. So... Yeah, like I say, man, that's all I got to say about that, man. So, man, right on, man. Shout out to uh, the NBA, you know, the Golden State Warriors and uh, Oklahoma City Thunder for giving the fans a very fun, exciting, and competitive uh, Western Conference Finals uh, series.